I've gotten seniors, overweight cats, sick cats, blind cats, and cats just that have lost all interest in playing to play with me. All cats love to play. They are all natural born hunters. So the first thing you might want to do if your cat isn't interested in playing suddenly is a health check. So a lot of cats that aren't interested in playing, they might not feel well. You know, if you don't feel well, you don't want to run around and, and play either. Another reason that some cats don't want to play is because they're overweight. More than half the cats in the US are overweight or obese. And again, if you have extra baggage on you, it's going to be difficult and painful, quite frankly, to run around and play. Being overweight, having that extra fat really puts a big strain on the organs, the joints, the muscles, and the bones. I have other videos talking about cat weight loss. I'll put those in the description below. But basically, you want to upgrade your cat's food get him feeling better and use feeder toys, puzzles. You know, you can get your cat on top of the condo by putting food up there, get him a little motivated, get him a little active. And once he starts feeling better, he's more likely to play. The next thing you'll want to do if your cat lost interest in playing is do a stress check. So cats are very keen on routine. They like their lives to be predictable out in the wild. If they do something that's, you know, out of the ordinary, that could mean death. They want to do the same thing every single day. So they really like routine. So if you're moving their litter box around a lot, or maybe you have a change in schedule, or maybe you had your friend stayed with you last week, you know, these are small things to us, but not so small things to our cats. They get very upset very easily and very stressed very easily. And if you're stressed, you're not gonna wanna run around and play either. So you wanna keep your routines consistent. And I've mentioned this in other videos, feeding your cats at the same time every day. I understand cats don't have a watch. They don't know what time it is. They're not like, it's 6.30, time for me to eat. But they do know based on our routines, it's time for me to eat. So for example, I wake up in the morning around 6, 6.30. I wait for Jericho to pee, I get up, and then I feed him. So he knows like, okay, I'm gonna get up around the time the sun rises, go to the bathroom, and then I'm gonna eat. So it's the routine of sun rising, bathroom, eat. So that's what that's what he knows. And now that it's getting darker earlier in the day, he's thinking that it's mealtime because the sun is going down, even though it's like five o'clock and he eats at 6.30. So it's those routines. He doesn't know it's 6.30, time for me to eat, but he knows the routine of, okay, the sun's going down, I usually eat at this time. The next thing that I would do if my cat lost interest in playing is take a look at the food that I'm feeding and upgrade the food. I mentioned this before in the obesity section, but food is really important. We are what we eat. And if you don't put the right fuel in our bodies, then we're not gonna run properly and then we're not going to wanna run around and play. So again, I have other videos that go into this. I feed Jericho whole prey and raw. That's what I would suggest because that's the most natural diet. That's what makes sense to me and Jericho loves it. Provides a lot of mental stimulation, can prevent stress because he's chewing on whole prey and raw meaty bones instead of just lapping up food. He used to eat ground food for the longest time. Now he actually chews on his food and that works the face muscles and provides a lot of mental stimulation. It's like when we accomplish our goals, when we work out, when we do things that make us happy, we feel better and we wanna go out and do activities. It's the same with our cats. All right, so we got all the health stuff out of the way. Let's talk about actually playing with the cats. So the next thing you'll wanna do <laughs> when, you're, when you're trying to get your cat to play is to get engaging toys. Studies actually show that cats prefer human interaction to other stimuli, including food and toys. So we definitely wanna include ourselves in playtime. I would start with a wand toy because that's super engaging. It requires you to play and your cat's more likely to play with it because you're involved. So you're waving the wand toy around, you're getting your cat to play. Something that looks like prey is going to be very helpful with fur, feathers, or maybe just even a rope, like a string, because that looks like a mouse tail. We have to think about our cat's wild side. The indoor version of hunting is playing. So when you're getting these engaging toys, make sure it actually looks like prey. Make sure you're moving it around unpredictably like prey, because cats want to hunt, you know, they're indoors, they don't hunt, so they don't have that mental stimulation, but we can provide that with play, with engaging toys. Some of Jericho's favorites are the Kitty Whip. This is wooden repurposed, upcycled wand that also has cotton rope. He really likes that, and I actually tie toys around at the end so that he can play with that. Jericho also likes the Cat Dancer that I got from Chewy. I had the original one from Amazon, 
but some of the cardboard pieces came off, so I got the one from Chewy. He likes that one as well. And he also likes this rat toy, which is made out of wool. Jericho also really loves the ripple rug. This is an excellent activity mat. You can hide toys and treats inside of it. You can tease the wand toy around it. I also like to put the wand stick, the handle, through the ripples and kind of move it around because then he sees movement, but he doesn't really know what it is. And that really stimulates the hunting drive. And that's a great way to get your cat interested in playing. I'll put some links to everything in the description so that you can shop around. The next thing you wanna do if your cat isn't interested in playing is to make a routine out of it. So I talked about routines before, but you'll definitely wanna make a routine of playtime because then your cat's going to expect it. So then at that time during that routine, your cat's more likely to play because that's the routine that's in place. You know, if you're gonna try to play with your cat while he's sleeping, like right now, Jericho's sleeping, he's less likely to do it because he's like, no, right now is when I sleep, I wanna sleep. So typically what I'll do is I'll batch routines on top of each other. So right after I feed him in the morning, I'll play with him a little bit. Even if it's just waving the cat dancer over him while he's laying in bed, he's batting at it, he's trying to catch it, you know, it's not like you have to make your cat run a marathon every time you play with him. Just get your cat interested in playing, get your cat interested in the toys, even if he's being lazy about it. That's still a win because you're introducing the toy to your cat, he's getting interested in playing with it. Then when you break it out to get him to run around, he's like, oh, I love this toy. We just played with it this morning. So he's more likely to play. In the afternoon around 12, I give Jericho some treats to make him hunt around the apartment. I hide them on glass jar lids. Another great tip for mental stimulation. So after that, he's energized, he scratches on his scratcher, I know that he's ready to play, so then I'll break out the toys and play. So I'm attaching it to routines that already exist. Then in the evening, when I feed him dinner, I'll play with him before dinner, he'll eat, I'll play with him a little bit after dinner, and he loves it because he's got a lot of energy and he gets the zoomies and goes crazy. So I take advantage of that. He's running around already, so I'm gonna grab his toys and make him run around some more. So try to think about routines that you already have in place, like your scheduled meal times, and then batch them so that you can build on those routines. The next tip that I have for you to get your cat interested in playing is to be patient and persistent, frankly. You know, cats in the wild, they don't, they don't pounce the first time that they see prey. They wanna study it, they wanna study the movements, they wanna make sure that they can actually catch the prey because every every launch counts. You know, they don't want to exert too much energy and then not consume energy. They have to make sure that every pounce really matters. And that's the way we have to think about when we play with our cats indoors. Again, the indoor version of hunting is playing. Yes, I understand we're not playing with prey, but that's not the way the cat sees it. The cat sees it as, oh, there's movement, there's prey. These are just instincts that are ingrained in them. So be patient. You might wave around the wand toy for a few minutes before your cat even shows interest, but you've gotta be patient, you've gotta be persistent. The next tip that I have for you to get your cat interested in playing is to get creative. So typically, like if Jericho's being a little bored and he doesn't wanna play, I'll like, all right, how, how else can I use this toy because it's not working right now? So what I'll do is I'll wave the toy like under a piece of furniture and then I'll hide it under the furniture and then stick it out again and then hide it. And that drives him crazy because he's like, wait, I can see it, now I can't see it. I can see it, now I can't see it. He also loves playing under the bathroom door. There's like a tiny inch of space between the door and the floor. So I'll fold up a toilet paper roll and kind of slide it under the door and then pull it out. And he, he paws at it, he loves it, and he goes crazy. Again, we don't have to make our cats run a marathon every time we play, but these can be helpful to get your cat interested in playing. And you'll be surprised, like they'll start pawing around and then all of a sudden they'll run away. And then they got the zoomies and now you can continue playing with them. The next tip I have for you to get your cat interested in playing is have fun. Don't look at it as like, ugh, my cat doesn't wanna play. Uh, you know, this is so annoying, I buy all these toys. Don't look at it like that, have fun. Playing with cats is so much fun. I'm like, I miss that, being a cat sitter. I, I loved playing with those cats because they're hilarious. Jericho cracks me up all the time because he runs around, he wraps around the scratcher and kicks on it with his back legs. Then he pounces off of it like par doing parkour. It's hilarious. Have fun with your cat. Look forward to this because your cat's gonna pick up on that feeling of like, yes, this is gonna be so much fun and I'm enjoying time with my cat. It's also gonna strengthen your bond. So it's you're gonna look forward to playtime and your cat's going to look forward to playtime. You're both going to have fun 
it'll brighten up your day, right? I mean, that's why we have our cats. <laughs> the next tip that I have for you is to upgrade your cat's enrichment. So enrichment would include things like scratching posts, activity mats, like the ripple rug I mentioned before, cat condos, cat trees, cat beds. That way your cat feels comfortable in his environment because if he's comfortable in his environment, he'll play more. And for more tips about enrichment, check out this video right over Mia. It shows you all the enrichment supplies that Jericho has and loves. Thanks for watching.